I'm Steve Potter, and uh, I'm going to tie a Dahlberg rabbit strip diver. I'm going to tie it on a Daiichi 2546 2-aught hook. Right. Put it in the vise. I'm using um, GX2 Goodbrow tying thread, and I'll start it right about the hook point and travel down to about halfway to the barb. Make sure that's nice and firm. Take some of this. I'm using purple, but any uh, subtle color, color will work perfect. So a rabbit strip is approximately 3 16 of an inch thick. I'm going to go about four times the hook uh, shank length. Larry Dahlberg uh, gave a presentation at one of the ISE shows, and he stated that a lot of guys were having problems with uh, tails hooking around the hook point. And he stated it. the reason why that was happening it was the tail was just too short. So you got to maintain it about four, at least four times the hook shank. I got that tied in. I put a little uh, taper on the t back end of it. And I'm going to add about three strands of uh, pearl crystal flash on either side of the fly. And put it about the length of the rabbit strip. Double the ends back. That'll give it a little color. Now, I'm going to take a small strip of this. You can use cross cut rabbit. I like to use the regular rabbit, mainly because I'll have twice as much material with me. And the regular rabbit sticks up. A little stiffer, as stiff as the uh, rabbit fur will get. Get a little height on it. And I'll wrap it around maybe three times here. Leave it so I have about three quarters of an inch for my deer hair work. Secure that off. Now I'll put a couple of half inches in there to keep the tension on it. It's a nice little. And I like to go back over that that little nub that sticks out there. Put a couple of layers of thread and secure it off real good. Put a dab of. Uh, Head cement right there. Makes it a little bit more, uh, a little stronger in the water. Okay. Now, this diver, I'm going to put a light bottom on it and a darker top. I'm going to take a good hunk of white deer hair. It's about a pencil and a half thickness. And I'm going to wrap it right on. A, I'm going to leave the, uh, the tips on here for the back part. I'm going to take a couple of three wraps and then roll it on the bottom. Stop the movement of the deer hair with my thumb and forefinger and put steady pressure on the 
string or the tying thread. So I have now I have a nice um, platform for my purple. Excuse me. Taking um, all the fuzz out of the jar. I like to cut the t the butts off. Sometimes you get a little white coloration where the uh, dye doesn't take right at the end. So I shave those off. Now I want to keep that from rolling over, so I'm holding the backs and I'm just pulling that together. I'll put a little bit more on that. I want this the top crest to be a little stronger. Put that right on top. And then I'm going to grip the sides and pull straight down. Make that a nice dense hairball. Bring everything back. Secure it off. Take my brassy, my hair packer, and push that back a little bit. Just secure it. Got a little white up there, I'm just going to trim that off. Okay, I'm going to go on to my next se segment now. Gets the repetitious with the deer hair, but this next batch. I'm going to uh, cut the butts and the tips off. I don't need those, being it's uh, working forward. But I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a couple of wraps and roll it on the bottom. Make a nice foundation for the purple. the fuzz, hit the, the tips and the butts, and grasp that middle. And this one I'm going to put just a little bit of white on top to make an indicator for me. I'll be able to see that in the low light conditions while I'm fishing it. It's a good fly for pike, muskie, largemouth, smallmouth bass. I've heard heard of people with for little different colors for tarpon also. Try that off. See if I have room for one more segment. I do. The thread base on there and secure it. Notice every time I start a, a new segment, I always tie that off with a couple of uh, half inches. It keeps the thread tension there. Okay. I use, um, I like that sage largemouth rod and uh, the line that they have supplied with it to chuck these things. They're a little wind resistant. And I also use a intermediate line. I like to get them to where they go a little deeper.
ちょっとやだなgot it let's see if we can find the eye on this thing tie this off he's a hair packer and back it back a little bit further put a good thread base on there to uh, Keep that sharp edge of the uh, hook eye closed here. Put about four or five half inches. Cut the thread. Now that's the hard part. Now attempt to find the bottom of this guy. I, do, I, I like to do it with the scissors instead of just jumping in there with the razor blade. That way I don't get too close to the first cut. You got a nice double-edged razor. I'm going to uh, turn that. Very careful and cup this this double edged razor to kind of cut the nose of this guy. Trimming here. Go back a little bit further. Pretty nice there. I might have to take it out of the vise and do a little uh, work on this crest that I want to make around. This is the bubble making machine. butts out there. And you want to 
kind of make it so it's it's not lopsided, kind of isometric on that, symmetrical all the way around. And you could cut on these things for half a day, trying to get them just perfect, but. Uh, This particular, this, the way that head is, I think I want to cut it down just a little bit more. So I want to get the, cut it a little shallower because I want it to dive more abruptly. I'll go back. See that little, that made the difference, I think. You could fish this like this, or you could put some eyes in it. You know, put their eyes. I use these studded doll eyes. I'm going to take uh, my dikes and cut the studs off. And you could either uh, use a burning tool and cut a nice hole in there, or use your scissors and just cut out a little indent. I like using the scissors because you don't smell the, the burning deer here. Keeps the family happy too when you, when you just cut it out. If you do burn them, make sure that you Get all the, pick all the, the uh, charcoal out of the hole, otherwise this goop, clear goop that I use to keep the eyes in there, they, it won't adhere very good. You just put a dollop right in there, kind of work it around a little bit. Same way on the other side. And I, I haven't lost too many eyes. Stuff holds them pretty good in here. Clean this up just a little bit more. There you go, there's a rabbit strip diver. Thank you.